second chapter of. I want to take point on this one. No, yeah, second Gears chapter of, of Act Four. Gears of War Two. two. Insane difficulty. Four. <laughs> Nextgenwalkthroughs.com. Now this first part's kind of lame, I guess. You're supposed to play stealth and like follow this uh, patrol group of locusts. But I don't really have the patience to do that. So, if you're very impatient like me, uh, easiest way to do it is just let them walk past the first terminal. Just wait a couple seconds. And then when they're at the second terminal, just toss a grenade at their feet. And try to kill as many of them as you can with one grenade and then kill them. If you follow them all the way to the end, you're still going to have to kill them anyway. It just, I don't know, if you wait to the very end of the stretch, it, I don't know, might make it slightly easier. But it's still pretty easy to do here. And don't shoot that guy in the head, it's kind of tempting. He's a goofy-ass smile on his face. Bezeke. <laughs> what song is that? Let's check it. You know the Bezeke song. I'm trying to get you to sing it. Oh. There's a collectible behind that terminal right there if you haven't used my collectibles guide already. Only on nextgenwalkthroughs.com. So when that group of guys gets up to that second terminal, I'll just toss a grenade. I didn't throw it far enough, but you can usually kill a couple of them. Way to lead by example. Yeah, yeah. Do as I say, not as I do, right? Yep. The only guy that's gonna give you a hard time is that boomer. But luckily the grenade actually did some damage to him. There's also a Theron guard with a torque bow in the back here. It's really easy to kill him though, because you can see his gun from a mile away. And he actually just killed himself there with with his own. Oh no, he didn't kill himself there. I shot to the didn't. face killed him. The shot to the face killed him. But when you shoot them and they have their little bow and arrow charging up, uh, their the bow just or the arrow just kind of hits the ground, and sometimes it kills other other teammates. So, so if it's not fully erect, the shot. <laughs> Just dribbles all over himself. Yes. <laughs> and makes it a huge mess. Forever. It's quite embarrassing for him. <laughs> quite. So the third terminal doesn't have... You don't want to shoot it prematurely. No. That's bad. And this terminal doesn't have it. I mean, imagine how much time you'd have to spend following those jackass drones around. Because they walk so slow. Then I ran too far there, I wasn't paying attention. Ran too far away. I think I know what song you're trying to sing, but you are so far <laughs> off. I know. As I and was like, I ran. As I was like, I ran so far away. As I was listening to myself, I'm like, I missed that so <laughs> bad. So bad. So, this is the area where you need that shield. Pick it up from that boomer before. This must be the area. Plop the shield down right there, and this is, uh, I did a bad job of editing there, I'll need to fix that. Plop the shield down right there, and this is one of the, a tactic you learn pretty quickly doing horde mode. Uh, that prevents the, um, the beast riders from jumping over there and meleeing you to death. And this part's really hard, right? This part is really hard, it took me a while to beat. Now, like I said in the last video, I don't know if shooting out those lights gives them an advantage, but it certainly doesn't hurt. So I like to shoot them out. There's going to be four waves of guys. One from the right, then one from the left, then from the right, and then from the left. Um, the first two waves are going to have the... Um, dogs? The dogs. The dogs with no hind legs? The dogs with no hind legs, yeah, they have two four forward legs. And uh, I like to grenade tag that wall right there. What you want to do is just try to kill all the wretches so they don't set off that trip mine. And then just start spraying that dog with uh, 
the Lancer, and hopefully he'll jump over it, and wow, that like, guy just went flying. That was awesome. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, and that'll usually kill at least the rider, if not the dog as well. After that wave is done, uh, a boomer and two more grubs are going to come on the right. They're not too hard to kill, just don't sit out in the open for too long. Two good headshots of the sniper takes out that boomer, or the grinder, I guess. Dom calls him a boomer. I'm not sure if he's actually a boomer or. What does he say? Does he say, he's, grind? He says, grind while he plays the jack in the box. But yeah, it, it might be like the exact same character as the boomer, I'm not sure. Wow. I got really lucky that that wretch didn't kill me there. They usually kill you in two shots. Dom typically does a decent job of keeping the wretches off of you, but for whatever reason he did an awful job this time. So this is the last wave then? No, this is the third wave. There's still third one wave. more wave uh, coming from the left. Or, I mean, the fourth wave is going to come from the left flank. Now keep in mind that wretches will come from both sides the entire time that you're doing this. So you need to kind of keep your head on a swivel looking left and right. Oh man. I love that sound. I never get tired of that. You know, the headshot sniper rifle sound. Now there's going to be a couple of shotgun drones on the left and one there on guard. And this there on guard, for whatever reason, on this really hard section, after you, like the first two waves are really difficult. The third wave is moderately difficult. This wave, in theory, should be simple because it's just some standard grubs. But for whatever reason, this fucking guy with a torque bow likes to kill me when yeah. I'm doing really well and I have a really good recording going. And then he just likes to fuck me up and ruin my day. Now, I was running out of ammo there, so I had to jump forward. And, uh... Oh, man, I got lucky that that guy didn't kill me right there. Dom saved my ass. Thank you, Dom. I'm sorry I made fun of you so many times. And uh, no doubt we'll make more fun of him. Oh, I will continue to make fun of him. Absolutely. Gotcha. But he, get, he saved my ass that time. 